I once caused the Hadron Collider to be shut down after I spilt yoghurt in it. <laughs> Do you know what? I believe it already. Uh, David's team. Paint the picture of a day working at the Collider. Not literally, we'll be here all you night. Know, when, when you, when, or what's the sort of access point of the Collider like? I'm imagining it's like a, a room with computers in. I don't imagine people are sort of wandering around the, the actual tube bit, finding a little corner to have lunch. <laughs> During construction, then, of ah, course, right. you had to go in. And I was responsible for a bit that's about 420 metres from the point at which we create the the Big Bangs, and mm -hmm. so I was in there, and you test bits when it's all done, and I was in there in the morning, <laughs> having my yoghurt. You're not supposed to... <laughs> you're not supposed to be in there. So well, he was asked to chat up the ladies, doesn't he? Um, <laughs> and I... Yeah, um, I love what you're drinking. <laughs> someone went past me on a bike, yeah. because the, you, you, can, you have to ride bikes or it's anything, and nudged my around. arm, and, and I... Um, spilt the yoghurt onto an electrical connection. And this and was it, during uh, construction? Yes. So well, during the testing of like, my piece. So it... So it so it didn't all have to be shut down, just a... No, just an octant. We can shut it down in eighths. Right. And... I think he knew what an octant was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's for you, it's for me. Can I ask you a technical question? Yeah, you, yeah. What flavour was the yoghurt? <laughs> it, was, it was one of those Swiss, like, rather flavourless uh, Swiss yoghurt. So, so there are people in there on bikes? Yeah, because it's 27 kilometres in So they go around on bikes inside. Yes. Sounds like centre yeah. parts. And you're sitting... <laughs> <laughs> Which part of it did you drop the yoghurt into or onto? There, there, there are pieces called... I'm, I'm going to go into chat-up mode again now. Yeah. <laughs> called, um, <laughs> oh, God. <called> Superconducting cables. <laughs> <laughs> then, um, if you cool them down to about 1.9 Kelvin, so 1.9 degrees of absolute That's zero, then they become superconducting, have no electrical <laughs> resistance and carry currents up to 13,000 amps in wires of a very small cross-section. Are you... So in layman's wire, terms, is, is it a wire? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> a wire. Why? Did you get yoghurt on it's, a wire? It's yeah. Not yeah. Tungsten alloy. Sorry? It's a Niobium tungsten alloy. I'm not saying it's, it's not a, I'm not saying it's not a brilliant <laughs> wire. As, as David well knows, because they're superconducting, they can I carry... might well know as well. <laughs> <laughs> they can carry very high flirting with each other. I know as well. <laughs> Tell me, you bitch! <laughs> But, you know, I, I did history, you know, I, I know that Hitler's dead, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, pr professor, how long was it closed down for? About three months. Three months? <laughs> As a we result of replace, what you did? We had to replace that piece of the, oh of the machine. Oh, my God. That was it's quite expensive. How much do they reckon why, that cost? That's why I'm on telly now, trying to work off the debt. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it. Why do you think I'm doing this? I, wouldn't... I don't know. <laughs> Geneva, if I had any respect left at all. <laughs> they said, get this out is there. Yes, get out there. Whore yourself around. <laughs> he's, he's just come from hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> did you own up straight away, or did you say, he hit me, he nudged me? I had, I had, I had a, a bike. I had oh. sticky up hair and a completely sooty face. <laughs> I couldn't get it. I couldn't, I couldn't deny it. You went to the fancy car and then take your goggles off. <laughs> did you did you take them off and did you go, Marty, we're gonna get to the DeLorean? <laughs> so David, let's take a guess. What do you what do you think? Three months, that's a big... I just wonder whether he'd be ready to bring it up in, on a comedy show. So, with that in mind, what are you going to say? Um, I think it's a lie. Well, I, I you know, you... I, I'm just in awe of the sciencey stuff. And <laughs> if he says he dropped yoghurt on a wire, then he dropped yoghurt <laughs> on a wire. Is it a lie? I think it's a lie. I think it's a lie. You think it's true? I think it's true. What can I say? Well, let's be democratic. It, um, say it's a lie. You're saying it's a lie. OK. Mm -hmm. Professor Brian Cox, is it the truth or were you telling a lie? It was a lie. Oh, yeah. oh. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. It was a lie.